Hi everybody, good evening. Hello guys. How are you doing? Hey Norberto. Good evening teacher. Hi guys. Hey Danny, I'm happy to see you. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very fine, teacher. Hello, uh, you? Elizabeth. I think I heard it. Elizabeth, right there. So hello. It, it, it's very productive day in my world. Very productive time. What do you mean? Oh, es que son los últimos de mes, right? It's the last day of, well, el primero, yeah. <laughs> the beginning of the next month. So I, I know. Me imagino que los últimos son como bien difíciles, are kind of hard. For Giovanni yeah, and for yeah. you. Uh, the first, the first day the first is day. very hard. Ah, okay. Because is uh, by Eva. Uh, um, pago a cuenta. Uh, okay. In in tax the of El, El Salvador. Uh, okay, so you have to make some payment. También para Elizabeth, if I'm not mistaken. So for it, it's kind of hard. Ingrid, hello, good evening. I'm happy to see good you. Good evening, Miss. Yes, yes, yes. Perdida por dos días, pero aquí estoy, Miss. No, I'm happy to see you. Me alegre que ya, you know, el clima es un poco mejor, right? Weather is better. Ay, sí, Miss, la verdad que sí, me tenía, me tenía preocupada eso, porque sí estaba horriblemente feo estos dos días, pero... Pero me alegra que ya la tengamos por acá. So, very good. So, guys, welcome to session number eight. Ya vamos en nuestra sesión ocho. You know, time goes flying. We have a lot of, um, you know, uh, vocabulary expressions for today. Tenemos un par de temitas que tocar también. So, we are going to uh, make it the most. Va a ser como speaking. So, we are going to focus a lot in the speaking practice. Eh, gracias por ayudarme con la camarita. Thank you so much for that. Eh, I see like your cameras are there, so I'm super happy to see you. And uh, eh, déjenme comenzar tomando asistencia, as we always do. So let me go ahead and take attendance eh, para que ya podamos dar inicio, you know, with our normal session. So eh, no logro ver ahorita sus cámaras, pero para propósitos, you know, de de confirmación, eh, ayúdenme con su camarita un momento, please, and eh, ayúdenme con la confirmación verbal, please. Help me out with your verbal confirmation para que nos quede en la grabación eh, también, right? So it's right there. So, um, let me see, Ana Delmi, no sé si está por acá. Anita, todavía no. Brenda. Brenda. Okay, not yet. Uh, Brian? Okay, not yet. Uh, Carlos Bautista, creo que vi a Carlos por ahí. Okay, Celia Jasmine? Danny Anthony? Present teacher. Gracias, Danny. Thank you very much. Uh, Danny Alberto. Giovanni, hi Giovanni, good evening. Hi teacher, present. Very good, okay, I like to listen to you. Very good, I'm happy to, to hear you. Gracias por acompañarnos today. Uh, Guadalupe, por ahí vi a Guadalupe some minutes ago. Hello Guadalupe. Hello, good evening teacher, present. Good evening. Thank you. Jacqueline, Jackie, ¿está por acá? Hello, Miss. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Me, Emily me dijo que no va a poder estar en la clase, Miss, porque el niño se le puso, se está enfermito y entonces ahorita anda por la unidad de salud. Wow. Thank you. Creo, bueno, que, ya le a, que... creo que ya le voy a escribir a usted. Gracias, Miss. Thank you very much. So, si no, ya, okay. ya le escribo a Jackie. Thank you so much. Um, Jocelyn, ¿está por acá, Jocelyn? I am here. Yes, very good. Thank you. Uh, Ignacio. Not yet. Norberto, por ahí vi a Norberto. So Norberto some seconds ago. Yes, yes. Amazing. Thank you. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Not yet. Eh, Miriam. Well, Miriam Claribel, ya la escuché por ahí. Present, present. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. 
Thank you so Entonces, much. Oh, Moises Rivas, Moses. Yes, amazing. Thank you. Pedrina. Pedrina. Yo vi a Pedrina. Present, yes. teacher. Present. Very good. Thank you. René. Present, present, present. Amazing. Thank you, René. Ricardo, por ahí vi a Ricardo también. Hello, Hello good evening. And Sandra Rodas. Sandrita. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you. I'm glad to hear you. Uh, Angel, por ahí vi también a Angel. I see him like joining. Yes, there you go. Hello. Um, Natalie, Natalie, are you around? Present. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, Marvin Lopez, Marvin. Already, uh, Sandra Elizabeth. I think I heard Elizabeth too. Present teacher. Thank you very much. And Ingrid Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. So thanks everybody. Gracias por conectarse. Um, I think I got everybody. Yes, I think I got everybody. Gracias por activar la cámara también. You know, you look very nice there. So you look very comfortable, ya descansando. So I'm super happy to see you there. I think nobody is, oh, only Renee is working. Sorry, Renee. Yeah, I think you're working right. ¿Todavía está en el trabajo? Yes, with my brother. Oh, with your brother. Wow, but yes. gracias por conectarse. Natalie, are you still working? ¿Todavía está en el trabajo? No, not anymore. No, yeah, hoy oh. sí, ya en mi casa. Yes, nice, nice, okay. The rest, I guess you're at home already, so ya están descansando, having dinner. Thank you so much, guys, eh, por conectarse, you know, to this session. So uh, part of the things que vamos a revisar today is the following. Eh, el objetivo says participants will be able to prepare a short conversation showing dissatisfaction about a product they received or bought in a hypothetical conversation. Vamos a practicar un poquito de dissatisfaction, you know? Cuando hablamos de las cosas que me siento mal, complaining, vamos a quejarnos sobre un servicio and everything. Um, to get started, all right, I have just something here for you, and there are three questions. So I want to listen to your opinion on this. Uh, question one, well, revisamos primero la palabra purchase. Si se recuerda la palabra purchase, tenía otro sinónimo. It had a synonym. ¿Alguien se recuerda another way to say purchase? Or the significado, the meaning? Yes, exactly. So purchase is compras, right? In other words, podemos usar la palabra buy. How, uh, how was the last purchase you did? Or how was the last uh, product you, bu you bought in this case? So, cuénteme qué fue lo último que compraron. What was the last thing you bought? ¿Qué fue lo último that you bought? I mean, probably, uh, or la, lo último por lo que pagaron, right? It could be a service, it could be an object, so it could be anything. So well, how was the last purchase you did? I, I am purchased um, installation cable. Okay, so you bought some cables. Okay, got it. What about the rest? ¿Qué compraron? What did you buy? I bought a new pair of shoes. Oh, very good. So you bought a new pair of shoes, okay? Online or physical? You went to the store. Physical. Okay, you got you got to the yeah. store. Amazing. What about the rest? Can comprado. Guadalupe, I think you bought a cell phone, right? Recuerdo que era un teléfono. No sé si ya compró algo más. I don't know. You bought anything else? No, teacher. So it was the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So it was a brand new cell phone. Okay. And what about the rest? What did you buy? ¿Qué compraron? What did you get? So, when, what is it? When? Today. Today? Oh, no, no, no necessarily. Puede ser yesterday, one week ago, one month ago. So, no necesariamente ahora. Like the last, la última, or the most recent. Uh, yesterday, uh, I purchased uh, groceries. Groceries, okay, okay, that's all right. Now, what I want you to do, what I want you to do now is the following. 
vamos a hacer una lista de los productos or the places in this case con los que estamos satisfied and dissatisfied, ¿ok? So satisfied is like con los que me siento bien feliz, the ones I feel super happy with, and dissatisfied, algo que hemos comprado, but you say, oh no, no recomiendo ese lugar, I don't recommend it, this is a really bad place, I had a really bad experience, etc. So let me show you what we will be doing. So satisfied, um, satisfied, okay. Can you tell me a couple of probablemente brands or places que ustedes recomendarían de lo que sea, any type of service, puede ser un producto o puede ser un servicio. Something you bought o alguna suscripción que todavía estás pagando or simply because el customer service era muy bueno or they fix your problems. So satisfied, what would you say? Teacher, uh, the yes. printer. The printer Epson. Epson, okay, so with the brand Epson, but okay, the printer. ¿Cuál printer? Because Epson tiene varias. Um, L. Yeah? L, L. Uh, 61. Okay. 51.90. 51.90. Okay, I believe esa es la de tinta continua, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I think I have heard it, but it is a little expensive. <laughs> so this is why. It's like $200, si no me equivoco. Like $200? Yes. Three. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yes, three hundred. Wow. Um, I think. Wow, almost four hundred dollars, but it's la, la grandota, the big one, mm, or the home one. one. Do you have it there? La tiene por ahí? Do you have it there? Uh, tengo Ma dos, maybe you última. can focus. Uh huh. Maybe. Uh, oh no, it's la pequeña, so it's a small one. That is the Epson, the fifty-one ninety. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, so you you truly recommend it. So es dinero bien invertido, I believe. Yes, yes. Okay. Es for es para negocio. <laughs> ah, okay. So if you have a business, so Epson 5190. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. What about the rest of you? Any brand or any product del que sí se sientan like you're very satisfied, that you're happy, o oh, probablemente un servicio, a restaurant, uh internet provider yes teacher the food the food the food Then, I mean, the, the food, food. La comida. okay the que lugar from what place uh, the un comedor the, un comedor con... what is the name of the what is the name of the diner <laughs> díganos el lugar tell us the name <laughs> Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Are you satisfied with Pizza Hut? Are you good with that? Do you agree with this? Pizza Hut is a good place to go and have, I don't know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. O alguien ha tenido una, una bad experience. O alguien ha tenido una like, really bad experience that you can tell us. I am bad experience. You, know, you had a hat. bad experience. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? It's a sentence or mm -hmm. Because I have, I, I, pedir, ¿cómo se dice? You can use, I order. order I order okay. mm -hmm. only, only two pieces. Eh, mediana. Okay, medium. Medium, so medium size. Medium. Mm -hmm. y, y, eh, solo. No, it's yes. Because, yes. Yes, because it's eh, the, the half. The, the, la mitad. Half. Mm -hmm. La mitad. Yes. Half. half. The one ingredient. Oh, the, uh, the other hat, the, the other the, ingredients. The other, uh, um, 
me costó casi 50 dólares pero por estas dos cosas. What? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> $50 dollars for two pizzas. Damn. Yeah. Y solo fueron las dos pizzas y una entrada. Uh, why? 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 Were they, were so they... Porque las habíamos pedido así, de una mitad y mitad. Different ingredients. Ajá, oh, y como fue dentro del okay. restaurante, me, me cobraron todo lo que cobran, vea, de la propina y todo lo demás. Wow. Lo, lo, lo malo del restaurante wow. pizza, de la pizza hat es que le cobran las sentadas en el restaurante. Es que le cobran las sentadas okay. del restaurante. Well, I, I didn't know, no sé si es posible, but maybe you have this kind of experience. Um, eh, what you say, la propina, el tipping, I understand que usted puede decidir no pagarlo, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure, no estoy segura de esto. I, know, I don't oh, know if no, it is no, mandatory. No, it's obligation. Okay, it's obligation. okay. okay. so, uh, well, that was a bad experience okay. from Jocelyn. Um, in general, I am not too much into Pizza Hut, so I don't know. Uh, but what would you say? I, I would put it into something bad, you know? I don't know. Alguien más ha tenido una bad experience with Pizza Hut? Jocelyn, excellent job. I like the way you explained to us. Very good, very good. Anybody else? ¿Alguien ha tenido una bad experience en Pizza Hut? Mm, no. No really, no really. Okay, okay, that's all right. So let's I am, full, I am full, um, full, pero sería buena experiencia, o sea, buena. Buena, Where? Sería buena. A very good, good experience. Good mm -hmm. experience. A good experience. Uh, exactly. And restaurant. Uh, restaurant. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Angel. What happened, Angel? Uh, compré la 16. La... Okay, 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 okay. In English. In English. Oh, no. <laughs> Acá le ayudamos. We will help you. La so. Forest Station. Okay. You bought Forest Station. Four seasons, uh -huh. no, no more cheese. Okay. Eh, entonces lo que hice, o sea, ah, se lo hacía en español. No, you're doing fine. Sí, you're doing fine. Ah, Está haciendo muy bien. Okay, you bought the the pizza of four ingredients, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y no me querían dar más queso del mosita. Like the bags, the little ¿Sí? bags. Okay. Yo no me dar dos bolsitas. Entonces okay. vino el, el vendedor, por así decirle. Uh -huh. que, o sea, lo que la solución de él fue, mira, si quieres yo te le pongo dice, del queso del que oh. tienen con mi mesa. Okay. Ah, pues va, está bueno. Oh, okay, okay. Hasta que vi blanca la pizza. Le dije, vaya. <risa> So you were happy. Oh, but the yes. good thing is that uh, el waiter, me imagino que fue como el mesero, the waiter, yes. buscó una solución. So he looked for a solution and, and that was quite fine. I mean, yes. bien proactivo, right? It was not just like, no le puedo dar más, sino le voy a ayudar con eso. So that sounds very good. Sounds like a good solution. So, guys, vamos a hacer una listita. We are going to make a list of these, you know, satisfied and dissatisfied. If it is a dissatisfied situation, probablemente con un producto, probably with a service, probably with a company, mencionemos que pasó. Let's try to explain what happened to us, okay? Um, five and five. Um, that would be the idea. Five and five, that is perfect. Pero si pueden crear más, it's totally fine. Vamos a hacerlo en grupo because, I, oh, and something important. Um, last week, hicimos una actividad de full English, right? Decir solo una palabrita en Spanish, but then intentar, try to explain with your own words. No importa que se bien, no importa que se mal, just give it a try, right? Si alguien entiende la idea y puede ayudarle, darle un empujoncito, so of course, feel free to do it. Eh, siempre que lo hagamos, you know, in a very respectful way, no creo que nadie se vaya a sentir incómodo que, que you know, le ayuden, le echen una mano. So, let's make it five and five, okay? Try to make it full, in, full English. Intentemos hacerlo full English, right? And then we come back y compartimos la lista. We share the list. So, cinco yeah. minutitos. You have five minutes. Hello. Ay, Ignacio, hello. Good evening. I'm glad you're here. Me alegra que ya se con nosotros. Happy you're right there. So, los acabo de invitar. I just invited you over. 
So dissatisfied and dissatisfied. And of course, ¿qué pasó? Right? What happened? Why are you dissatisfied? Or why do you feel that way? So let's go. Let's get going, guys. Winning. Oh. Teacher, is is this the group? Yes, it's oh. a group. Le acabo de enviar la invitación. Creería que ya lo tiene. I think you got it. No, uh, me, sacó. no. me sacó. No hay problema. Ahorita le reenvío la invitación. Dani, Dani, Dani. Vamos a con... Vale, ahí está. Me confirma si ya la logré ver. Y si no, si no la logré ver, creería que está en su teléfono, right? Oh, ya entró. Ok. I don't like that, but call me. Ajá, Brian, estamos esperando. No, 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 yo les escucho a ustedes primero. Como, ¿Cuál es su buena experiencia? A ver. Don Carlos Alberto. Eh, my good experience. I no remember. <laughs> I don't know. When my daughter uh, born. No remember. <laughs> um, La niña Brenda. My good experience uh, are maybe this is in Hanami restaurant. Uh, I eat sushi oh, and what you can eat because I really. Hi. What is what is the name of the place again? Is Hanami restaurant. This okay. is a, a sushi. Is that just Japanese food? Japanese food, yes. Ah, okay. The, the food, this is an um, all you can eat for for the prices for um, I don't know I don't remember fifteen dollars. Okay. Um, the, 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 it's delicious. The, the food is delicious. The okay. the restaurant, the what do you say, mesero? The waiter, the, the service, waiter, the waiter. Very attentive. Okay. So the person was very helpful. It was very yes. like, como de mucha ayuda, right? It was very bien the, the, the place is clean. Ah, okay. Place is very clean. The place is clean. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I'm trying to remember oh. like the places I can, uh, I feel satisfied or I feel dissatisfied, but it's a little hard to remember. As Carlos said, it's been difficult, right? Recordarse like right now. Oh, I don't know what to recommend. <laughs> but teacher, but yeah. uh, when I uh, hear into Brian, I remember the last time uh, okay. we visit uh, Benihana. Okay. Benihana is a very good place uh, because the the it is cooking from 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 me. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> they cook in front? Yes. Cooking. In okay. Cooking in, in the place when you you eat okay but but not in front of you yes 
Oh, wow. What a good service. So they yes. cooked. Okay, that when, sounds good. When you uh, order the food, mm -hmm. uh, came a uh, chef okay. and the chef cook your main menu. Uh huh. In front. Uh, in front you. Wow. In this, in this moment. But uh, did you ask? Usted pidió que lo hicieran. Did you ask for that? Uh, is the method of of the restaurant. Okay, because I went to Veniana and they didn't cook in front the, of me. The, I feel sad now. <laughs> I didn't the know. Fresh, the food is fresh. Okay, the food is, I mean, the food is good. It's fresh, as Brian said, but Carlos, well, that's new for me. No sabía que se podía. I didn't know uh, que si lo podían hacer, that they could cook in front of you. So good. That sounds very cool. Ah, okay. So you got the pictures right there. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you for this, sharing. This is the uh, cook, mm -hmm. and this is the uh, chair for, for it. This okay. is the dinner, dinner table. Ah, okay. That sounds very cool. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for sharing. Anyway, okay, so that was a good experience for Soy you. Yo lo escucho cortado. De hecho, yo a usted lo escucho cortado, Brian. But no, I don't know. Guys, me confirman. Y, y yo escucho a Carlos cortado, pero solo a él. Lo escucho así como, como. Ha escuchado como que si es un robot, ah, pues así lo escucho. Que yo, Carlos, lo escucho, con lo escucho bien. De repente a usted lo escucho un poquito cortado, pero ahora ya se escucha bien. Guys, nos confirman, please. What about the rest? Nos oyen bien, que you listen to us nicely. Se escucha bien. Se escucha bien. Y eso que nos está lloviendo, qué raro. Probable. Well, well, my internet ha estado muy malo todo el día, you know, but creería que es por el clima, but I don't know. Eh, but to be, oh, talking about the, the internet, for example. I feel very happy with Tigo, you know. I know, yo sé que el customer service de Tigo is bad, like very bad. Yes. But, but to be honest, when I call and I report a problem, they fix the problem really fast. Uh, or they connect my internet or they come and visit my house. But for me, the service is really good. In less than 24 hours, my problem is fixed. What is your experience with the internet um, providers? With Claro, Tigo, Digicel, Movistar, what do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, in, my case, uh -huh. in, my, in my case, uh, Tigo is, is, is good. Uh, sometimes uh, this, the signal is bad, but uh, when rain, this, this signal is, is very bad. For, okay, so that's but, Tigo. Mm -hmm. Tigo. But I recommend right? it. Yes. You recommend it. <laughs> I mean, a pesar de eso, sí. Ajá. In spite of this, yeah. I recommend Tigo, but no sé si es por la área donde vivo, you know. I really recommend it because I think it's good. Guys, what about your internet provider? Sí, yo tuve Ana, claro y you? ahora sí siento diferencia. Me too, me too. Anita, what about you? Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. También no la he escuchado. I haven't heard you. Creo my que Brenda ven también. Mi internet is very, very good. Is Tigo. Okay, your internet is Tigo. Tigo. Okay. Uh -huh. So, do you feel satisfied? Is that satisfecha? Are you satisfied? Satisfies. Um, the satisfied in um, experience in Banco Agricola. Yes. I, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> quise cancelar the credit card uh -huh. y me tuvieron como tres meses con lo mismo, me costó, la verdad. I agree with you totally, I you had, know. Uh, I had a bad experience with the, the Yamaha Lisi. Uh, I, I bought one motorbike, um, the motorbike is, I had a problem with the, the, ¿cómo se dice bomba? O inyector. 
I don't know. Esa es una pieza, es como, o el tanque de combustible. Como eh, lo bomba is pump. Bomb de gas line. O full. Because the pumping is at the gas station, but give me one second. Yamaha eh, pump. I don't know if it applies. Oh, yes. Eh, I don't know. Pump. The fuel, it's the fuel pump. Um, let me see if I can show you this one, right? Oh, no, wait, wait. You cannot see this. Um, this one? Uh, eh, no, is. Es una pieza que va dentro del, tam, del, del tanque, es una bombita, lo que succiona la gasolina hacia el inyector. Ok. Esa fue mi mala experiencia. Pero lo demás no lo voy a poder decir. Ah, ok. But, but they didn't fix the problem. Sí, les puse una demanda y en la segunda audiencia la gané. Wow, so it got serious. So sí se fue yeah. al siguiente nivel. Wow, ok. Sí, sí. But the good thing is that al final sí le resolvieron, you know. Claro. In legal claro. terms, but, pero igual, you got yeah. it. Wow, ok. Sí, fue uno de tú a tú, pero al final uh -huh. se logró. Wow, so that was something serious. I think I have heard that comprados, he escuchado que hay muchas como demandas, right? So people sí. comprado a lot. Eh, have you ever sued a company? ¿Alguna vez han como demandado to a company? No. No. A ese tipo. No, not to that point. Okay, or in uh, la cons, let me see. Or this Salvadorian eh, organization que se encarga de, de los consumidores, you know? Uh, Consumer, ajá. Yeah. La con, ¿Cómo se llama? Yeah, se me olvidó el nombre. You have it yeah. in the tip of the tongue. Yo también. Sabe que es consumidor, consumidor ah, but... <laughs> la defensoría. Y ahí es la defensoría del consumidor. La defensoría del consumidor, exactly. So that's like one place that, where you can go and they can kind of help you fix the problem. Okay, guys, los dejo un minutito para que terminemos la lista, but we already got some ideas. With the satisfied uh, services like Agricola, Yamaha, right? And satisfied, you Le mentioned... voy a hacer un pequeño paréntesis. The, yeah, go ¿Sabe ahead. Por, ¿Sabe por qué la gané? Porque Marvin me dijo, dale en la, por donde le va a doler. Porque en ese momento me ayer estaba en campaña y le dije que les iba a publicar todo en redes. Porque tenía todos los screens de todas las cosas que me habían dicho. Hasta me dijeron que yo no podía manejar moto. Wow. Hasta eso me llegaron a decir. What? Y les armé una presentación que no se la pudieron quitar. What? You created the presentation y se las envió and you sent it. Yo la presenté ahí, la, o sea, yo la llevé y se la mostré a la abogada y a, a la abogada de la defensoría y al abogado de, de Yamaha. Ok. Con todo impreso, los chats y todo, y no, no pudo. No wow. se la pudo quitar. Bien. But it was not like a lot of money. O era todo una uh, motocicleta. Lo que pasa es que me estaban cobrando 500 dólares, pero yo pedía el cambio de la moto al final. Ah, ok. Iba muy largo. Sí me convencieron que solo sigue la reparación. Ya no pedí el dinero, solo oh, la okay. reparación. Pero sí se lo repararon. They fixed it. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Sí, okay. sí, sí, ya. Gracias a Dios. Ah, ok. So hopefully, yeah. Well, anyways. <ríe> Eso <ríe> sucede con, con, como son partes, right? Mechanical parts. Uh -huh. so. Perfecto. Yeah. Well, but, but that sounds good, you know, and, and se fue por el tema político and you got it. <laughs> okay. Correcto. Okay. That's okay. So guys, I let you finish. Nos vemos en dos minutitos. See you in two minutes.
Hey guys, thanks for coming back, okay, and for sharing your experiences, good or bad, but experiences in general about the services you have received. So um, what about satisfied and dissatisfied? So what are some companies, what are some products that que si los dejaron con buen sabor de boca, right? you say, go to this place, it's a very good one, I recommend it. ¿Hay alguno? Is there any? For example, in my case, yes. uh, I, I are recommending uh, if you want to, to prove, como probar. Uh, taste, de comida, taste. Uh, if, you want, if you want to take a, a good, uh, como se dice, sopa de mariscos. De Seafood? Seafood, Seafood. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. If you want, for me is... Um, Neptuno. Uh, Yes, yes. <laughs> really? Yes. But I, I think Neptuno is a pub, right? It's como a bar. It's, isn't it like a bar? No. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's a restaurant be and bar. Yeah, right. The, kind of a the bar. People, the people recommend uh, the, the soap del basurero. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. But it's but I, very expensive. I, I don't... It's a little... Yeah, but the soup is good. But the soup is really good. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's a little expensive. So, El Basurero, and Neptuno, mm -hmm. Ignacio? No, it's a cheap, the El Basurero, because the soap is a very, very good, the soap. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't try it. Eh, over con Malapa, uh, after Hermano Lejano going into the way to uh, Santo Tomás. Mm. So yeah, it's on the on the main road, but yeah, well, mm -hmm. depende como de, de su de su presupuesto. I have to say, it depends on your budget. I don't, I don't try it. The soap. But but well, the the soup. Well, sorry. Solo voy a hacer un pequeño eh, commercial paréntesis here eh, con esta palabrita, you know, just to to make it clear. Tenemos dos palabras que son bien confusas, you know, like very confusing. Eh, and, uh, y tienen no, pronunciaciones no. bien eh, similares, exactly. No. So, we have this one, okay, so you eat it, okay, and we have the other word, okay, so you take a shower with it, so you take a shower with it, okay. Se parecen, ambas son bien parecidas, pronunciation is very similar, but hagamos no. la diferencia. You eat it, it's una soup, okay? Como una soup. soup. I have soup, soup. basurero sell soup, yes. Soap, now soap, you take a shower soup. with it. Soup. So you have palmolive soap. You have, soap. Um, oh my God, ¿qué más? Abon chulón. Palmolive, yes. Uche, uche. <laughs> oh. Yes, exactly. So ellos son soap. Ellos son soaps, okay? So soap. But we como, have soup. Como so, sopa. Como sopa. Es que, es que son bien confusas, all right? So, pronunciamos la primera. Let's pronounce the first. Eh, soup. 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 Chicken soup. Soup. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. soup. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Bean soup. Bean soup. Como la sopa de frijoles. Bean soup. Exactly. Bean soup. So, chicken soup. Bean soup. Bean soup. Mm -hmm. So they are very good, pero son soups. But, but, but now, soup. Soup. now, soap, remember, palmolive soap. Eh, Recuérdense el, de, el del cuche, that's fine. So, <laughs> ese es el soap, okay, soap. Soap, soap and soap. soap, exactly. So they are a little, soap. son bien confusas, you know, and, and just to make it clear, I hope we got it now. So talking about this, in el basurero you can have a soup. Eh, let me see, let me see. Any other place? Otro lugar que recomienden? Um, Neptuno, you said, um, El Basurero, all right. Any other place that you say, oh, this is good? La Posada. La Posada. Default Unam. Eh, Ingrid, Unam. What is that? Default Unam. Delicious, yes. Hon what is Honam? Honam. Restaurant. Where? Honam in the Masfer Boulevard. Honam. Yes. Okay, but that is Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Okay, Chinese food. Yes, Ignacio? A chicken. 
the 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 pata the pata so oh, I don't like in, it. The, <laughs> in, in the in the tineti market. Oh, tineti really? It, yes, it's good. It's good. Okay, so. But it's dangerous. Yeah. The the it's market like, is very yeah, dangerous. Like El Trovador, I think that they are very dangerous places. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Se llama el mercado que está ahí para el 5 de noviembre. Dicen que bueno, nunca he ido ahí, pero dicen que es buenísima la comida de ahí. No, el mercado de los 5 de noviembre. I have no idea. Anybody? Where well, San Miguelito? Another another San Miguelito. Another place in the, sí. No, no, tiene otro nombre, pero dicen que es buena la comida. No, idea. Oh, Merliot. Y Merliot, you can Magalio. get uh, seafood. So, seafood. Yeah, seafood. You can get Magalio. seafood. Magalio mm -hmm. so, Restaurant. <laughs> Magalio Restaurant. Ignacio, what is the place that you wanted to recommend? It's a, the same, same, same place as the um, Merliot and the Antiguo Cucatlán Market. Oh. Okay, and they will the plan. All right. Like the, like the Merlin market. Okay. You know, in Santa Tecla, there is a place that I feel very happy about. You can buy, if you like seafood, you can buy seafood. It's called, I think, Mau oh my God, I have forgotten. Seashore, I think it's called. I don't remember uh, the specific name, but it is very close to El Cafe Talon, like two blocks away from Cafe Talon. And oh, the, okay. the, the dish, you know, the seafood dish is $5, including, and it includes the, the, the drink. So you can have like a soda and seafood for oh, like five, $6. For me, that was good. That was very um, cheap, I think. So that's, you know, my recommendation. Now, this is like places, talking about food, I think everybody loves food. <laughs> what about dissatisfied? Is there a place that you say, please don't go here, it's not a good idea, uh, or you simply don't like it? Is there any place that you feel dissatisfied? Any like bad experiences? So, um, Jocelyn nos contaba de Pizza Hut, right? She was telling us a little bit about Pizza Hut experience. Alguien más ha tenido una mala experiencia? Have you ever had a bad experience? or with shoes, or with a company, or with bad, internet? Bad experience in Pizza Hut? Uh, no. Um, not like uh, Pizza Hut. Okay, you I prefer, prefer Little Caesar. Oh, okay. So yes, Little Caesar. Yes, with good attention. Uh, mm -hmm. Good uh, um, pizza. Okay. Um, eh, no sé cómo se dice entradas. Eh, good. The appetizers. Eh, yes, a good appetizer. Eh, mm -hmm. Attention. Good. Appetizers. I'm going to write it down. Okay. So, little Caesar. Appetizers. Yes. Son las entradas. Okay. Yes. And okay. um, um, good. Um, a food China World, uh, Begin City. Okay. I uh, like it. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Well, I think that probably in food, I don't know you guys, but sometimes we are kind of picky, especialmente con las pupusas, because that's our dish. Yes. So yes. There are a lot of pupuserias, but you say, oh, no, no voy a volver yes, a ir ahí because no. they are bad, right? <laughs> so probably not with American Todos food. Los planes. But <laughs> we are. Los bungalows. Okay. Mm. But bungalows. Is that good buena, or bad? So that's good. good. Yes. That's uh, good. Live, music live. In los bungalows, yes. really? Yes. Oh my God. Yes, okay. in, the, yes. in I... the night, the Saturday music live okay. is in English. The place is, yes. The place is in English, teacher. The, yes. The Solo por eso vamos, porque es en inglés. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> But you know, I have had really bad experiences. Creo que entonces he tenido mala suerte because es I have gone Abby. to bungalows, but nunca ha habido live music. Abby. I don't, I, I don't like Abby. Why? He, he very... ¿Cómo decís que se tarda mucho? Oh, the service is slow. 
the services is low and okay. in the last time when I go to Abby, I need one pupusa more. Mm -hmm. And they I say that the <laughs> make a new order oh, as okay. a new claim client. Okay, so and you have to wait. Yes, I, I, I recommend 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Wow. Is I recommend the pizza, the Itaku. Itaku. Oh, people huh? say it's good. Uh, yes, yeah, the, the, the pizza sounds fine. Number, number is uh, pupusas, Carlos. Number. Like how many pupusas? Yes. ¿Cuántas me como? Yes. And, uh, three. Oh, but it was not a lot. Okay. Three. No, okay. I I am go to the the. Um, Como se dice, how do you say, entretenerme? Oh. Okay, you did something uh, else. Is all good. Yes. So you did something else. Got it. All right. But talking about the pupusas, I remember. Creo que teníamos una invitación de Brian, right? Estaba pendiente. <laughs> Nunca fuimos. We Nunca got to model for. Todavía estamos Programémonos. en espera. Gracias a Dios. Tenemos cuatro meses ya con usted. Programémonos. <laughs> Al final. We did so, yeah, I mean, todavía sin espera, así que no pierde las esperanzas. <laughs> que todavía Marvin no están, teacher, yo. por eso. No, what happened is that <laughs> algunos son de bastante lejos, so it was hard uh, to get into, into you know, um, agreement, de ponernos de acuerdo. But yes, it would be cool. Sería muy buena idea if we can do it. Now let's, Escursión, let's move Escursión. on. <laughs> yeah, like a big trip. So, tenemos un par de useful vocabulary. Ayer veíamos que la palabra useful es útil, right? Palabras que podemos utilizar in this context. ¿Qué sucede si yo no me siento bien con un servicio? And I want to explain that to the person, okay? Tenemos expresiones bien directas that you can tell a person, look, no me gustó, I don't like it, okay? No me parece bien. So, what are some of these expressions? Uh, Moses, please, may you deliver? Let's, can you help me read them? Okay, try talking. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. I'm very unhappy. I cannot accept this. I'm really angry. Annoyed. Annoyed, exactly. Mm -hmm. I am confused. I am tired of. Mm -hmm. I want to speak to a manager, mm -hmm. a supervisor, team leader. Thank you. That's all right. That's very good. So here we have some expressions like, okay, you know what? No me gusta el servicio. ¿De qué forma puedo expresar eso? You can simply say, I'm not happy with the service, okay? I'm not happy with the product. I'm not happy with the food. So remember, no vamos a buscar una forma de traducir palabra por palabra de español a inglés, sino algo que me diga lo mismo. So esas son las expresiones que me dicen, no me gustó, no me parece, no estoy de acuerdo, right? Um, for example, you can say, I am really angry or I'm really annoyed. So annoyed. Everybody, let's repeat, annoyed. Annoyed. So una al final, annoyed. 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 So an, what is annoyed? Estoy molesta, all right? I'm really annoyed. So estoy molesta con el servicio. I am annoyed, I am annoyed at the service. Here we have, I'm confused. Like for example, in Jocelyn's case, imagine two pieces and then ven el bill, the 50 dollars, oh my God, I'm confused. ¿Por qué me están cobrando esto, right? Why am I getting a 50 dollar bill? So I'm confused, okay? Me estoy confundida. I don't understand, right? So bill, la palabra bill es como la, la cuenta, right? The bill, the check. Um, you can say also, I'm tired of, like Carlos says, tengo que esperar, tuve que esperar 30 minutos. So, estoy cansada de esperar. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of calling. Si ya llamaron varias veces y no le responden. Like in Brian's case, que nos estaba comentando por ahí. And then, of course, you can say, like, I want to speak to a manager. Uh, can I speak to a team leader? En algunos lugares no se llaman managers, sino que team leaders. Pero está bien, you know, any of them is good. Now, soft language. También tenemos palabras como un poco más suavecitas, more beautiful. For example, oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> ok, como eh, tal vez se oye raro porque nosotros usamos ridículo para un contexto bien diferente, right? But si algo les parece mal and if you don't agree, 
pueden utilizar la palabra ridiculous. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Ok. O no lo puedo creer. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Ok. So, let's repeat la última palabra. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, repitamos la misma. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Perfect. This is unbelievable. No lo puedo creer. Esto es increíble. Pero en el sentido, no de, wow, esto es bonito, ¿verdad? Sino en, realmente no lo puedo creer. Como de queja. Yeah. Cuando usted dice, por Dios, el recibo de luz me vino de 100 dólares. This is unbelievable. No la gasolina. Exactly. Oh, oh my God. The price of the gasoline. The price of gas, that's unbelievable. Almost four dollars. Yeah, right? Four dollars. Three something. So that's three unbelievable. Three that's three ridiculous. Seven. Exactly. So en un tono de quejas, si podemos utilizar it is unbelievable, it is ridiculous, or I'm very unhappy. Okay. <laughs> Tal vez no podemos estar angry con el precio de la gasolina, but si podemos expresarlo como it's unbelievable. Es algo de no creer. Right? Um, para decir no tengo paciencia para esto. Ok. Again, si lo traducimos de forma literal, puede que it makes sense, pero también podemos usar cualquiera de estas expresiones. Like, for example, yo usaría esta, I'm tired of, yo estoy cansada de esperar. You know what? I'm tired of waiting. Ya me voy, you know? <laughs> so I'm tired of waiting. So estoy cansada de esperar. How would you say? Um, so la voy a escribir acá. I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting. Estoy cansada de esperar, right? Yo or, dijo que significaba ridículo. Um, para nuestro contexto, o al menos en esto de una queja, es como, viene siendo casi igual a unbelievable. Como esto es increíble, esto es de no creerse. Esto es exorbitante. That would be the way. How we understand it. No para una persona, you know, sino para una situación, right? Um, Carlos, con su concern de no tengo paciencia, también podemos decir like, oh my God, 30 minutes, I cannot accept this, you know? So hay formas de expresarlo sin hacerlo literalmente, right? Hi, Danis. Good evening. Thank you so Hi, much for evening. joining. Cool. Thank you so much. All right, guys, le pueden tomar una captura, you know, lo pueden escribir. Me indican si ya están listos para seguir with the next practice. Yeah, ready. Or, si hay preguntas, if there is any question, let me know. So, si estamos bien, if we are good, then let's continue. So, estamos hablando un poquito de, like, el, el, expresarnos, you know, express your complaint, expresar que no estoy de acuerdo con algo, that I feel bad, that I feel dissatisfied, etc. So, vamos a ver dos expresiones, vamos a ver dos words que nos van a ayudar, you know, para hablar un poquito de cosas que podemos hacer, things that we can do. En caso no nos sintamos eh, happy with a service or with a product. Tenemos las dos palabras que se parecen mucho in terms of pronunciation. Tenemos may, ok, y tenemos might. So may and might. ¿Cómo los utilizo? Um, todos hemos escuchado la palabra maybe, right? So, ¿van a ir mañana? Are you working tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe. Ok, are you watching TV today? Maybe. So, la palabra maybe me da una idea de, no estoy segura, I'm not sure, quizás, ok, de probabilidad. La palabra may and might, de hecho, may es esto, maybe, ok, probabilidad. So, let's read the examples we have here. Danis, lo voy a tomar, I'm going to tell you, Adalberto. Please, ayúdenme a leer los ejemplos con may. Esto se pronuncia may. Ok. I may have for a refund. Very good, exactly. You may buy a, a different store. Okay. They may not provide a good service. Mm -hmm. Good. It may not 
reach your expect expectation. Expect expectation. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, okay. ¿a qué me refiero okay. cuando yo digo I may ask for a refund? Imagine that I'm, les estoy contando like a really bad service que tuve contigo, me cobraron un teléfono, eh, el teléfono me lo robaron, el seguro no me cubrió, etc. And then you come y me preguntan, so, ¿qué va a hacer? What are you going to do? Mm, I don't know. I may ask for a refund. So, el may me está diciendo, quizás yo lo vaya a hacer. Okay, I may ask for a refund. So, yo podría, o quizás voy a pedir un reembolso, right? I may ask. Um, or when I give recommendations, like, oh, you may buy at a different store. So, podrías comprar, you know? So, may es la idea de, de esto, right? Maybe, quizás. Now, let's take a look at the examples with might. Again, may and might. Eh, Marvin López, ya lo veo por ahí super ready, Marvin lo voy a tomar para los ejemplos, please ayúdenme a leer la segunda columna, help me read the second Hi teacher Hello. Hello. Uh, She may when a uh, reference on Might, she might Might, mm -hmm. might. Yes. might She might want a reference on this unit Ok the, They might complain about the service. Okay. We, we may ask to tell which the super, supervisor. 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 Okay. Supervisor. The, mm -hmm. the, we might ask to tell which the supervisor. Mm -hmm. He might not be here again. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So we have this part of she might uh, want a refund. So ella quizá va a pedirlo, you know. Uh, they might complain, okay? So ellos quizás se quejen. We might ask for, uh, to talk to a supervisor or he might not buy here again. La diferencia entre may y might no es muy grande, you know. Ambas se refieren a posibilidades, a cosas de las que no estoy seguro. And uh, si revisamos la estructura gramatical, Actually, se usa al igual que can, al igual que will, no lleva el to, ninguno de los dos llevan to. Y si revisamos algo más interesante es de terceras personas, it, she, and he, no implican cambios en el verbo. No voy a cambiar ninguno de los verbos que está acá, así que me olvido de ellos. Eh, esto es simple present, ok, estamos siempre hablando de presente simple. And uh, estamos hablando también de um, possibilities, probabilities del presente, you know. So, imagine, um, um, you know, el ejemplo que se me viene a la mente es el de Jocelyn, because me dejó impactada that for two pieces you pay $50, Jocelyn. So, what are you going to do? ¿Qué va a hacer? Teacher. Yes. Uh, a question, sorry. No, don't worry, tell me. Um, for example, we we use may or might mm -hmm. depend on the verb to be. Depending on verb to be. Uh, how so? Can, can you? For example, mm -hmm. I may, you may, they may, it may, and another might. She might, they might, we might. Mm -hmm. uh, my only difference is the there to be. Oh, I got your question, I think. So let me see. Déjeme ver si le, le, I understood what your question is. Si no me equivoco, you are asking me about the, the conjugation of verb to be. So for example, ¿cómo utilizo con el verb to be here? No sé si le, le comprendiste la pregunta. Ignacio? Yeah, yeah. The, okay. My, my difference is, for example, the, the, the personal noun. Um, I may. Mm -hmm. You may. But she might. Mm -hmm. And they might. 
Ok, well, actually, eh, lo podemos, ambos podemos utilizarlo con todos los pronombres. No hay una restricción de ellos. There is not a restriction. I can say, for example, I, you, uh, they, we, she, he. Eh, lo puedo utilizar con todos los pronombres. Eh, might, all right. Al igual que con may. So I can use all the pronouns with may. No hay una diferencia tan grande en significado. So ambos son para posibilidades or probabilities, right? Uh, and if the question is, uh, con respecto al verb to be, el verb to be no puede ser conjugado. Ningún verbo es conjugado. So, for example, si yo quiero decir, um, imagine that, let me see, ¿qué nos hace falta? For example, digamos que Brenda todavía no hubiese venido and I ask you, hey guys, where is Brenda? And, um, y como es probabilidad, yo no estoy segura. So we can say, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Quizás ella vaya en camino a casa. Ese quizás es el may o el may. So I can say, she may be going home. So she may be going home. Quizás en este momento ella esté yendo a la casa. She may be going home. So si yo voy a utilizar el verb be, no necesito hacer cambios. Ya no utilizo ni am, ni is, ni are, sino el verbo tal cual. She may be. Um, si es como más probabilidad, yo puedo, puedo cambiar también el might. I don't know. She might be going home. Ambas están bien. Both of them are good. El significado no cambia drásticamente or anything, right? So, los dos son pretty good, you know. Pueden funcionar de la misma manera. They can work in the same way. No sé si we are okay, we are good. Sí, me quedó claro. Gracias. Okay. Tal vez una diferencia here is that el might, por lo general utilizamos en, con cosas que pedimos en pasado. Pero vamos a ver eso luego. Right now, solamente vamos a ver like general things about might. Pero, ¿estamos bien hasta acá? ¿Are we okay? Teacher. Yes. Yes. Eh, utilizo. Mm, no sé si utilidad. Utilidad. Uh, my y may en general. Uh, speaking. Um, uh, probability. Yeah, both of them yes. are for probability. En general. En general. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, so, okay. En, cuando decimos la palabra maybe, es como, no estoy segura, como un poco de incertidumbre. Entonces, el may y el may es eso, una incertidumbre solo me da como una idea de, um, de quizás, you know, quizás esté pasando esto, right? Maybe this is happening, but ambos lo utilizo para posibilidad o probabilidad. Uh -huh. Sé que eh, en, en general... Bueno, lo que, lo que acabo de decir hace ratito, en general vamos a utilizar lo may y my eh, para probabilidades. O sea, quizás, eh, posiblemente, yes. ¿verdad? Yes, esa, eh, eh, en cualquier, en cualquier, ¿qué? En cualquier... ¿Situación? O, correcto, o uh -huh. ocasión, yes. ¿verdad? Entonces, pero igual, no, el verbo no va a cambiar. Uh -huh. No, exactamente, exactly. exactly. Y, y, totally right. y también la posición donde va may y may eh, va a ser diferente. No va a ser siempre después del sujeto ni, ni nada de eso. Sino de que hecho, va a ir... sí, actually, yeah. Si revisamos la parte gramatical, if we want to check that out, um, tenemos la primera parte que siempre es el subject y luego tenemos a may o tenemos my. So, ellos se llaman auxiliares en ellos siempre van después del sujeto. En esa, en esa posición siempre va a ir. Uh -huh. yes. Solo que Always. cuando sea question va a cambiar. Cuando sea question ya lo vamos a ver, pero sí cambia. Okay, okay. <ríe> yes, exactly. Sí cambia. cambia es parecido al can. Si se recuerdan, uh, cuando utilizábamos can, like, she can be going home, right? Entonces, el may y el may lo usamos de la misma forma. Very good question, Ricardo. Exactly. Sí, es en la posición. This is the position. She may, she might. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Y el, y el may eh, eh, es la forma como polite de, de decirlo o cómo. Um, no, no really. Es como otra forma de, de hablar de posibilidades. Algunas veces se utiliza para pasados, you know, uh, y... 
Digamos que ambas son la forma polar de hacer preguntas. So to ask questions. But una es como más directa, la otra puede ser un poco más indirecta. But ya vamos a revisar eso. We are going to check that in a minute. No worries. <laughs> but very good question. Okay. Eh, no es que, en este caso no es como can and could, uno es más formal que el otro. No. Ambos son casi de la misma categoría. Así que no worries. Um, solo es como, si no quiero usar may, utilizo may y está bien. Esa es como la idea general, you know, this is the general idea. Um, so, here we have, create sentences using the words provided and may or might. Write a complement when needed. Vamos a intentar crear estas oraciones and agregar como una razón, agregar algo más que le haga falta here. For example, number one, it says he not be satisfied. Lo que quiero decir es que quizás, you know, tal vez, probablemente, um, alguien no se sienta feliz por un servicio, por un producto. But I want you to mention como el porqué. So this is why it says write a compliment. So what can you tell me? For example, uh, he, ¿cuál podemos utilizar? May or my? What do you think? Give me some thoughts. Remember, ambos se pueden. Both are okay. May. Okay. So he may. La forma negativa. ¿Cómo hacemos la forma negativa? Revisamos el ejemplo. May. No. Oh, solo le pongo una. Ajá. Yes. He may not. Be satisfied. Exactly. No voy a cambiar el be así tal cual. Okay. He may not be satisfied because. ¿Por qué ustedes estarían dissatisfied? ¿Por qué estarían eh, enojados, molestos por un producto o por un servicio? Mm. Because it's very expensive. Because it is because it is expensive. Okay, perfect. Because it is mm. expensive. Otra razón? Any other reason? For bad service. Because the service was bad. Okay. Pero tenemos satisfied. Oh, but it may not. Yeah. He may not be satisfied. Yeah. So, él quizás no esté feliz. He may not mm -hmm. be satisfied because it is expensive, because the service is, was bad, yeah. because anything But else. attended? But exactly, attended? Exactly, because the customer yeah. service was bad. Customer, Porque fue yeah. muy lento. Because it was yeah. slow. Yeah. Jocelyn? For example, in the food, and I put a, a, a hair, a hat. Oh, a yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because there is a cockroach. <laughs> because there is a hair. Okay, because there is a hair in the food. Um, ¿Qué más les ha salido? Um, a fly, una mosca. Because there is a, a fly in the food. Yeah. No, no, I'm here. A mosquito, uh, a fly, a cockroach, a cockroach, <laughs> yes, a no. oh, pero eso sería Here? demasiado, Dani, Here? a uh, pelo, pelo, a hair. hair, okay, so there is a, a, hair. a hair, all right, a or hair. there is a fly, <laughs> or a mosquito, yes, Ignacio, in my case, it's real, it's real, a, is, a cockroach, uh, the cockroach down, oh. down, the, down the pizza. No. Domino's no, no pizza and, uh. and don't, don't, no nos cobraron al final. It was free, but, <laughs> pero estaba ya cocida. <laughs> was it good? <laughs> el, el was, the, was, was the cockroach fried? <laughs> Ya estaba rostizada, crujiente. Oh my god, that's so nasty. Es desagradable. Era la, la nueva variedad que probaban, Ignacio. Like exotic food, like, like scorpions in Mexico. Okay, wow, that's so disgusting. Definitely. So, I will give you five minutes para que me ayuden con el resto. Okay, and si pueden agregarle más. Perfect, that would be amazing. Um, si necesitan ayuda con alguno, let me know y así lo revisamos. We can check it out.
Guys, quiero agregar algo, but no sé si los voy a confundir más. Espero que no. Um, as I mentioned before, con la parte de May en May, no hay mayor diferencia. But uno es un poco más probable, digamos, que sucede. Ese es el caso de May. So cuando usamos May es porque tiene más posibilidades, más chances que pase. En May es menos. You know, eso es todo. But por el significado, por lo que quieran decir, no se preocupen because it's the same. Solo uno representa más posibilidades de suceder. Ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No worries. May is more probable. Mm -hmm. Mine exactly. is less. 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 Mm -hmm. Probable. Ah, sí. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Pero en realidad es como algo mínimo, you know. So, la diferencia es súper, súper pequeña. So, I'm going to write it here. More. So, this has more chances to, oh, to happen. Y este tiene menos. This one has less. That's it. So more and less. So two more minutes. Si necesitan más tiempo, let me know.
Alrighty. So guys, um, I think in the numero dos, do you have anything for number two? No, teacher. Thank you. Please. The the warranty may be longer if you pay with cash. Ay, cool. I like that example. Thank you. Very real. Creo que aplica algunas veces. So nice. Thank you very much. Number three. Alguien tiene con el número tres? Do you have number three? The service not be excellent. Hi, teacher. Yes, please, Richard, go ahead. They might not serve it, uh, be excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, solo cambiamos el orden un poquito. The service might not. Uh, or may not. Mm -hmm. may el, not. Exacto. Ah, okay. El service va primero. The service might not or may not, depende de lo que tenga. Might not be excellent. ¿En qué condiciones? So, ¿en qué condiciones creen que un servicio puede no ser bueno? So, the service may not be excellent or might not be excellent. Si es slow. If it is a slow. Okay, okay. That's a possibility. Algo más. Si está en temporada alta, you know, si está lleno. Like, cuando van a en vacaciones, right? So, the service might not be excellent if it is a high season. Si es temporada alta. Anything else? Number three. Alguien tiene any different answer? Nobody else? Sure. Yes. Entonces sería the service might not uh, be excellent. The yeah. service might not be excellent. Yes, exactamente así. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Number... Entonces ahí, entonces... Dígame. Tell me, tell me. No, 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 nada, bicho, sorry. No, tell me. <laughs> no se quede con la duda. <laughs> me va a dejar también con dudas, así que <laughs> tell me. <laughs> so, si lo tienen como de service y la opción primera, may... May not be excellent, está bien. Si tiene la segunda, the service might not be excellent, también está bien. You know, it's acceptable. Ambas están bien. Pero si may and may van después de la palabra the service. Um, number four, ¿qué tiene la número okay. cuatro? You recommend. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Guadalupe. Uh, you may recommend some nice place. Very good. You may recommend some nice place. Okay, thank you. Alguien más? Anybody else? Danny? You may recommend. Oh, okay. Any other compliment? <laughs> okay, now it's super bien. So you may recommend the uh, place. Okay, okay. <laughs> No, you're good. You're super good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's take a look at number. Yes, uh, Norberto? Uh, you may, recom your may recommend uh, uh, the eat uh, restaurant Los Betos. You may recommend to eat at Los Restaurant. Okay, at the restaurant Los Betos. La Libertad. Oh, okay. Hola, be, hola, be, hola, Betos. Yeah, yes. Oh, hola, Betos. Yeah. Okay. Reco yeah. Recommend is recomendar. Recommend, yes. Uh, so, if you like uh, it, you may recommend it. Okay. Yes, Danny? You may, you may recommend is, uh, a very movie. You may recommend a very? On a, on a, a very good movie. Oh, yes, of course. So you may recommend uh, a good movie, si te gustó, if you like it. Okay, uh, very good. Yes, okay. yes, that sounds good. Now, number five, the waiter, so el mesero, right? The waiter. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Jocelyn? Uh, 
the wedding may be in a hurry mm -hmm. because she wear, wear me the food. Okay, so he, the waiter might be in a hurry because the food. He wear me, como tiro, tiro. Oh, because he dropped, because he dropped he the dropped food. The food. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. So tenemos la palabra drop, eh, la voy a escribir en el, acá en el chat para que nos quede guardadita. So drop es como, eh, tengo algo acá y de repente no pongo atención y pum, se cae, right? Ese es drop, que se me deslizó de las manos. Okay, so the service might be in a hurry because he dropped the food. Very good example. Um, otra, otra característica o u otra razón por la que digamos, uh, quizás está en apuro, you know? So the waiter um, may be in a hurry because... Eh, Guadalupe, yo veo los, los labios moverse, but, <laughs> pero este mute, sorry. Pues <laughs> the restaurant eh, it is a full. Yeah, because the restaurant is full, right? So, todo el mundo anda corriendo, exactly, good. And the last one, number six, Amanda. Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda may, uh, the may not use. Uh -huh. Amanda may not use. Deme un poquito más. Give me more information. But you ah, got sorry. it. You got it. Amanda may not use. Amanda may not use the, the app Facebook. Oh, very good. Amanda may not use the app, uh, the Facebook <laughs> app. Okay. Or Amanda may not use the Netflix account because she gave it to me. <laughs> como, como cuando le regala la credencial para Netflix, right? So okay. she may not use it. Okay. Any other example? ¿Qué más tiene con uh, number six? Hi, teacher. Yes, please, Guadalupe. Go ahead. Amanda may not use high heels because okay. she can fall. Very good. She may not use high heels because she can fall. Or porque tiene quizás dislocado un, una pierna, right? So Amanda may not use high heels because her foot is broken, okay? Or her foot is twisted. Very good. I like it. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más tiene algo diferente? Uh, Amanda may not use... Uh, uh, car uh, because uh, in that sense it is motorcycle. Okay, so Amanda may not use the car because she has a motorcycle. Perfect. I like your examples a lot. Thank you guys. Very creative. So now let's move on a little bit. So avancemos with the next activity we got here. That is, you know, practicing everything. Oh, que pasó? No me deja. Give me one second. Uh, give me just a second here. Let me go again. So, revisemos esta parte that we have given us for opinions about a customer satisfaction of a product. Um, sometimes, cuando vamos a un restaurante, nos, tenemos algo así, right? Like a survey, como un cuestionario, and they ask you for some questions, yeah? So, uh, let me see. Quiero escuchar más voces. I want to listen to more voices. Um, Ingrid, please, number one. Ayúdenme a leer number one. Sorry, I'm a minute. Yes, uh, <laughs> no se preocupe. <laughs> Bien, bien. It's okay. Setting. Satisfied. The mm -hmm. How satisfied? Yes. How that um, are you with uh, with uh, the products? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Y tenemos las posibilidades, right? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, or very dissatisfied. So, escojamos un producto o escojamos una brand. ¿Quién me ayuda? Who wants to help me? 
Díganme un producto o una marca. Anything? Chicken, campero. Uh, campero. Ok, Campero is good. Todos hemos ido a Campero. O yes. Don Pollo, que es casi yes. lo mismo, right? So Don Pollo, yes. Campero, so we're good. Ok, vamos a, vamos a completar. Mr. Chicken. Oh, that's new for me. <laughs> ok, vamos a completar este cuestionario con nuestra opinión. What is your answer for number one? In my case, I would go with, I don't know. Depende de dónde he ido. Por ejemplo, he ido al de Las Palmas. And my answer is dissatisfied. What about you? ¿Cuál es su respuesta? What is your answer? Uh, the, the satisfied. Okay, dissatisfied uh, too. Okay, hagamos lo siguiente. Let's do the following. In el chat. Vamos a ir respondiendo, uh, you know, a esta pregunta como un cuestionario, right? Y lo vamos a hacer de following way. Desde arriba hacia abajo, vamos a escribir o vamos a darle un numerito. So, one, two, three, and four. De arriba hacia abajo, right? So, for question number one, in my case, the answer is number three. What about you guys? What is your answer? So, la pueden escribir. You can write it down. So, del uno al cuatro. En, en el orden en el que aparecen ahí. Ok, two. Ok. Two. 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 Okay, dejo varios two. <laughs> I see a couple of two. So you feel satisfied. Ok, ok. Which is better, campero o don pollo? Campero is very easy. Is high or more expensive? The peas, no, the peas are more big. big bigger? Oh, okay, so Campero, bigger. Campero is bigger. Okay. No, 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 no. Mm. Or, I don't... or Don Pollo. Don Pollo. Don, don Pollo. <laughs> really? No. So más no. grandes. Are they bigger? Yes. No le he comparado. I will next time. Okay. So, veo muchos dos. I see a lot of two, and, and okay. So, I guess you're mm. satisfied with the product. That's okay. El pollo campero has perdido su toque, Miss. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree on that. Yes. I, no. I like it. I like it, pollo campero, because have a variety of, of food. The, yeah. The, the menu. I, I don't like the chicken campero. I eat pizza, I eat a salad, okay. a dessert. Okay. A hamburger, but ah, no chicken. Okay. <laughs> okay, so anything except chicken. Okay. When, okay. when I have too much hungry, mm -hmm. I prefer the Don Pollo because oh. the cheese is big. I'm yes. bigger. Ah, okay, very interesting opinion. Thank you. And now I it's... like it, Pollo Campero, because how we feel <laughs> the horchata. Of coffee. <laughs> I, like, I like coffee. Uh -huh. Yes, it's yeah. true. They have coffee uh, refill. Okay, number two. Number two says rate. So rate is como darle un ranking, right? Como evaluar. Rate your opinion about the product's quality. Siempre estamos hablando de, de pollo campero, right? So rate the quality. ¿Cuál es la calidad de pollo campero? High quality. Average, average es como promedio, right? Average, lo normal. Average. Low quality, ya más bajo, and very low quality. Again, desde el 1 hacia el 4. So, 1 es el que está arriba, right? What's your opinion? Oh, low quality. Okay. My opinion, My opinion so, is number one. Average. I will go with two. I will go with average. My, my opinion is number two. Number two. Okay, uh, average, average is como promedio. Ni two. bueno ni malo. You average, know? Average. A average. So that's average. two. Okay, okay, average, mm -hmm. right? Ni bueno ni malo. Average. average. My opinion average. is is the high quality because the bees don't have blood. Oh, okay, okay. So there is no blood in the pieces. That's a very two. good point. Pero no siempre, right? Creo que, creo que tengo mala suerte, Ben. <laughs> I think I'm just unlucky. Okay. Let's go with number three. Three. The value of this product, you know, como el valor. 
en una forma bien general, you know, the value. No estamos hablando del precio, we're not talking about the price here, uh, pero cambiémosla mejor, cambiémosla porque es un poco confusa. Cambiémosla el precio, the price of this product. ¿Qué opinan del precio de Don Pollo? Cambiémosle un poquito la palabra value a price. The price of this product is. What do you think about the price? For me, it's expensive. Oh, it's, it's expensive. expensive. Yeah, expensive. Okay. Yes, yes. it's expensive. Yeah, no tenemos acá como las, las answers, but okay, expensive. Yeah, it's mejor Don Pollo. Okay. <laughs> and number four. <laughs> Will you continue using the product? ¿Van a seguir comprando Pollo Campero? Will you continue buying Pollo Campero? Yes, right? Yes, or no? Yes. De vez en cuando, yes. ¿cómo se dice? No. From time to no. time. No. Yes. I don't like it. You don't like it? No, no like yes, it. Because Chiqui en Bonanza. Oh, Bonanza. <laughs> Pero es que no hay muchos. There are not too many. Real. From time to time. Okay. El pollo real pollo. también. Alguien me hace otro pollo. El pollo... Uh, El pollo real. No, creo que Dani, pero Mr. no sé Chiqui. si. Si solo en Santa Ana. Campestre. Oh, Campestre. Oh, yeah, campestre those are in San Salvador. Uh, chicken, uh, Walmart. Walmart. Crazy, crazy yes. chicken. Okay. Crazy, no. Crazy chicken. I don't también. know if that exists. Kind of. Los precios se parecen bastante. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Speaking practice. Create a conversation about, you know, complaining why you are dissatisfied with a product or service. So, vamos a quejarnos ahorita. <laughs> we are going to complain, pero antes vamos a ver, vamos a tener customer, vamos a tener el employee, okay, y le pide manager, so, manager. and the manager. Use expressions like, ya vimos cómo decirle, no me agradó el producto, I'm not happy, I am annoyed, I am angry, había una cucaracha, you know, and everything. Ahora, si soy el employee, si yo soy el empleado, ¿cómo pido disculpas, right? Porque nos toca de cierta manera decir, mire, discúlpenos, you know, I'm sorry. ¿Cómo me disculpo? Making apologies. Puedo decir, I do apologize. Everybody, repitamos esta palabra, apologize. Apologize. I do, I do apologize. No I le do apologize. apologize. So, no le pongan atención al significado, usted está queriendo decir mil disculpas, ¿ok? I do apologize, me disculpo por la cucaracha. I do apologize for the cockroach. Me disculpo por la tardanza. I do apologize for the time. I do apologize for the bad service, you know. I must. La segunda, I must apologize. Me tengo que disculpar again. Yeah. I must apologize for for los inconvenientes, for the inconvenience. Okay. I, or I apologize. Or I would like. Me gustaría. I would like to apologize. Or simplemente I am so sorry. You know what? Um, so Pedrina, I am so sorry for the confusion with the food. I gave you chicken and you ordered a pizza. Okay, so I'm so sorry. I apologize. Son las formas más cortes de pedir disculpa, de decirle a alguien, mire, perdone. La palabra perdón no es muy utilizada en English, you know, so podemos usar I apologize, I am sorry. Y la palabra I'm sorry tiene el mismo, el mismo peso de nuestra expresión perdón, you know. But I'm sorry, it's okay. I'm sorry. Si quiere disculparse más, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> solamente le agregamos el so. I'm so sorry. Or I'm I so am sorry very que... sorry. I'm sorry es como lo siento. Pero si, Ajá, yo, le, siento. Pero so si yo le pongo I'm so sorry es como yo lo siento mucho. <laughs> Solo le voy impactando un poquito qué tan, qué tan mal se sienta, ¿verdad? Expresión. Uh -huh. le, le, lo hace más expresivo. Pero no usamos la palabra perdón ni nada de eso. So, I am sorry. I apologize. Ahí está bien. Ya se disculpo. Uh -huh. So, utilizando esas expresiones, como tenemos empleados, y you no know, vamos a disculparnos por los inconvenientes. Puede ser una, una situación real que hayan tenido con un servicio, con un producto, and then we present it. So, es lo que vamos a hacer. 
create a conversation in which you are dissatisfied. Realmente está, eh, no es que quiera cambiar un producto or anything, simplemente se está quejando por algo, right? Se siente mal con lo que sucedió. So, vamos a ir a grupos, guys. We are going to some groups. Allow me one second. And uh, tenemos, we have uh, 10 minutes. Tenemos 10 minutitos para poder crear la conversación y luego regresamos. Then we come back. So, let's go. Let's go, everybody. Sorry, teacher, me salí de la, me salí del, del grupo. Eso veo. Sí. <ríe> no se preocupe, ahorita, ok, ahorita lo envió. Okay. Ahí está. There you go. Employee. Employee. Eh, I am employee. I am employee. And you? The customer employee uh, manager. Supervisor. Supervisor. Manager. Manager. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Creo que va a empezar eh, el play. No. Como a hack. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome a Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, podría si si eh, Guadalupe, could you could you give me a menu, please? Okay. Como podría regalarme el menú, por favor. Y ya, este, digamos que lo ve y, y hace el pedido, no sé, de algo. Uh -huh. I want, I want. Eh. ¿Para cuántas, para cuántas, how many people? Uh -huh. 
I want to order the salad. Can you employ it? Uh, Sandra. Sandra. In manager? Me. You? I yeah. Okay. Yo poner el orden aquí. <laughs> okay, the, could you give me the, the menu, please? Y ahí Sandra, usted responde. Casi no les escucho. Que, que Guadalupe va a decir que se le puede regalar el menú, Entonces, les podría responder, ah, oh, of course, oh, por supuesto, ya sí. Y podría recomendarle alguna, alguna, algún combo de sí. algo, no sé cómo. Que ya está oh. lista para el Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. I want to order the salad. Yes, yes. No le ayudan. Yes, eso sí. Eh, que te la pite, lo voy a decir en inglés. The last right. time when I go to Tigo, <laughs> no, es pasado, es went, went Tigo, and I am very enojado. I went. Yes. I was, yes. yes. I was very enojado, teacher. Guys, ayúdenle. <laughs> y yo esperando que Ángel dijera la palabra clave. Teacher. Angry, that's angry. I am very angry. Angry. I was very angry. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Then uh, the customer service when the see so angry. Hey, present me five megabytes of my internet. Wait, they gave you? <laughs> ellos le dieron? They gave you? Yes. Five mega, extra megabytes? Free. And the in other oh. occasion, what I went to Tigo again, very angry okay. for my bad service. Uh, he, they uh, present me a uh, Gay me, podemos usar gay porque present es como un regalito, uh -huh. como un costo. Uh -huh. Entonces, gay, quizás gave, ellos me dieron. Gave, They uh, gave me. HBO Premium, free. <laughs> Wait, ¿a dónde? Digo. <laughs> Where? Where did you go? ¿A cuál agencia? ¿A dónde dicen que, va, que vayamos? A San Mundo. <laughs> ok. Ah, pero okay. póngase en plan enojada, porque si llega y le dice, mire, discúlpeme, que no, no nos quiero molestar, pero ayúdenme. O sea que tiene, que tiene que llegar tirando las puertas y todo eso. Medio así. ¿Cómo que lo pu? <laughs> ah, ok, ok, ok. Ah. Es que es que nunca me han dado nada. They have never given me anything. Es posible estar con un bate. So, like... con un bate. Mire, <risa> tiene que ponerse tan enojada que se tiene que poner un seguridad a la parte del customer service para cuidarla. Va, así. Y entonces ah, se pegan las cosas. <risa> no. Y, 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 el, y el lunes, uy, la teacher la detuvieron. Yo no voy a clase. No, guys. No, pero la verdad que si uno nos reclama a veces, o, o les he dicho que voy a dar por terminado el contrato sin, sin ninguna repercusión Ajá. para mí, o que voy a ir a la dirección de protección al consumidor. A la defensoría. Ajá, ahí. Ellos rápido se ponen en, en, en ver qué hacen. O, o uno le dice, mira, yo con usted no voy a tratar, quiero hablar directo con su jefe. Ah, ok. Y entonces bueno. ya ahí las cosas cambian. Mm -hmm. To be honest, eh, siempre que he llamado, you know, because eh, now with the quarantine, eh, prefiero llamar. Creo que es más fácil que esperar una hora, you know, a que alguien me atienda. But siempre me han resuelto en el teléfono. They have eh, found like an answer for me, y no he llegado al punto de ir a reclamarle, quizás por eso nunca me han dado nada, but, <laughs> but, but maybe, maybe that works. Alguien sí me dijo que le subieron el internet, you know, eh, al reclamar. I was like, okay, I didn't know. That was new for me. But cool. 
Pero no es que estuvieron los en la seguridad con usted, Carlos. No, no, no. It's not ¿Cómo necessary. No, ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no sé por qué, you know. Yes, but... yes. Ahí estaban en la parte. No le creo, a company, I don't believe it. company, him. Carlos. No. Security. The security was there. The security okay. uh, company, uh, Alberto. Ok. So, uh, your conversation is based on Tigo. Is it about Tigo? No sé por qué Carlos, Carlos tiene un buen, buen perfil de customer. Yes. <laughs> no, no I, I don't like the call of customer service. You don't, oh, you don't like to call. Okay. I, I am not patient. Oh, okay. I prefer, I prefer to, to call, but, but that's fine. So guys, okay. los, los dejo para que sigan practicando. Nos vemos en un par de minutitos. So okay. let's go ahead. Como haría entonces la caja, Guadalupe. Mm. No sería. Porque eh. se tardó mucho la, la orden o estaba demasiado frío de cold chicken. Podría ser. Podría ser. Excuse me. Eh, wait a eh, I, I am not happy because I, I am tired of the long thing. No sé, algo así. Thank you. Because the long, long time. Okay, dear customer, uh, I I can give the salad, the Caesar, the Caesar salad. No, oh, perfect, perfect, no problem. Very okay. good. Okay, okay, manager, manager, Marvin Lopez, my manager. Okay. Vaya, entonces medio, medio, medio empecemos otra vez, va. Vaya, medio empecemos, empezamos otra vez. Okay. Oh, oh, waiters. Um, come on here, please. I am not happy. Um, um service. No time. Ah, uh, time alone. Service. Um, um, uh, help me, please. I won't come. Is that tell you? Tell you. Hi. Perdón. ¿Con quién Hi puedo there. hablar? ¿Se me puede ayudar? ¿Con quién puedo hablar? Hi there, customer. I, I am your I, I am your waiter, and uh, please. Uh, Yo soy el mesero. I am, so I am your 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 waiter. But what, what is what is the? Uh, Help me. Oh, can you explain? Me, can you explain? Can you explain your 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 problem? Um no. Um the food is be is buttery. Um, a long time service. O sea, es de la comida está, es, uh, está aceitosa y el, el tiempo es muy alargado. Ok, let me, let me talk with my manager. Uh, let me, excuse me. Uh, uh, hi, hi, Marvin Lopez, my manager yes. of restaurant. Hi. Yes, or please help me, please. Hi, hi, it's a problem. Estoy, estoy enojada, estoy. <laughs> oh, yes, um, yes, um, the food is, uh, my problem, my problem is this food is the butter free, buttery. A long, it's a long time service. I am also apologies for the service, only for uh, 
uh, if you if you are in certified you can choose use favorite food. Oh uh, yes, yes, my favorite food and salad. Cesar salad. Uh, Cesar, Cesar, Cesar salad. And uh, uh, dessert. Oh. Y un postre adicional, quería decir. Ah, una ensalada. And a dessert. Do you like no, ice no, cream no. and chocolate, for example? No, oh. no. No. Only, yeah. no, no, salad. only only salad, only salad, César. Suficiente. Thank you guys, thanks for coming back. So, ¿cómo estuvo su práctica? How was your practice? Did you practice? ¿Se quejaron mucho? <laughs> Were you able to complain? Carlos, al final fue usted el, el consumidor. Were you the, the customer? Era el cliente. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ya yeah. ves, es que, es que tiene el, el perfil, you know. So that's why I was saying that. <laughs> okay. And uh, so, gracias a todos por regresar. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, tenemos voluntarios. We have some volunteers, and we are going to start with them. So, Angel's group, <laughs> I want to listen to your conversation. So, uh, that was Carlos, Angel, and Richard. So, um, it's cortito, right? I think it's kind of short, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be very interesting. As okay, guys. Um, the microphone is yours. Puede ser algo cortito. It can be something short. That's okay. It's very, it's very short. Perfect. Okay. Mr. Richard. Like this too. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> uh, hello, waiter. Come on, please. Hey. Uh, can I help you? Uh, my soap is very cold. Soap. My soap is very cold. Soup. My soup is very cold because I wait a lot of time my lunch. Yes. Um... Uh, I am going. Uh, my boss. I sent my boss. Me pancharon al al mesero. Um. Ah. Uh, uh, Hi. Can I help you? Quite sometimes. Yes. Uh, my soup is very cold because I wait a lot of time. What happened? Give me a fed minute and this moment we we will charge you soap. Okay, please give me a dessert free, please. <laughs> Only teacher. <laughs> that, that manager is hard, you know? Thank you. Mesero, Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was asking about the dessert. Like, como, like, como la cortesía, you know? Uh, when you are not happy with a product, they tell you like, okay, 
I will give you a free dessert. Le voy a dar como un postre gratis. O no va a pagar, you know. O como el caso de Ignacio, que estaba la cucaracha y la frita. So, fue gratis, right? It was free. I mean, something like this. <laughs> Creo que Carlos estaba pidiendo. Very good job, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. That was totally good. That was very good. And Carlos, I like it. So, um, you know, corregimos la palabra soup. So, very good job. <laughs> Um, chicos, ya casi es hora, it's about time, antes de irnos, ayúdenme con la camarita, please, eh, voy a pasar asistencia, so let me confirm que tengo a todos, and nadie se me ha quedado sin control de asistencia, so, let me see, Ana Delmi está por acá, Ana Delmi, yes, thank you, Brenda, Brian, Creo que por ahí veo la cámara de Brian. I think I see his camera. Eh, Danny. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, creo que escucha Dan, es hace unos minutitos. Well, Jacqueline is not here. Ignacio. Ignacio, Ignacio. Creo que he's mute. Present, present teacher. Thank you so much, Marvin López. Gracias, Marvin. Carlos, dígame. Al principio me tomó asistencia porque no tenía activada la cámara porque estaba en una llamada del trabajo. Ahorita le confirmo, Carlos, dame un segundito. Eh, Sandra Rodas. Sandra, creo que está por ahí. Ricardo. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo. Eh, me hacía falta... Uh, yes, Carlos, me hacía falta también. So, Carlos, thank you very much. Thank you, Marvin. And Carlos, I got it. Thank you, Carlos. I already got it. So, gracias a todos por la super attendance that you're having. Gracias por la participación. It was very interesting. Eh, ahora es día miércoles. No se les olvide empezar a trabajar con la plataforma. No lo dejemos hasta el día viernes, please, porque se les va a acumular todo. Si tienen dudas, si un ejercicio les está dando problema, escríbanme, let me know. En, y lo podemos corregir, you know, together. Eh, René, si me regala un par de minutitos, si tiene tiempo, please, eh, para que nos quedemos en el one-on-one. On one. Los demás están dismissed. Que tengan una muy bonita noche. I'll see you tomorrow. Eh, también completen las actividades extras que están, ejercicios extra. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you, René. Solo deme un segundito. Give me just a second because algunos compañeros. Oh, no, wait. Algunos compañeros se me han quedado aquí. Deme un segundo. <laughs> Give me just a second. Uh, let me see. Okay. And ahí está. Ok, ahora sí. <ríe> so, gracias, René. Vamos. Thank you very much. Uh, gracias por el tiempo. Le voy a robar unos 10 minutitos. Todavía está en el trabajo, right? Sí, todavía. Aquí estamos wow. en la oficina. Con Marvin. Solo yo y él. Hey, no se ve Marvin. Ahí está. El que está atrás. Ajá. <ríe> Ok, ok. So, uh, well, nada, solamente vamos a aprovechar a tener la one on one y ya que es bastante temprano en el módulo. Eh, well, siento que, que vamos súper bien, you know, cada día lo escucho más, más cómodo hablando. Eh, estamos mejorando con la parte gramatical, con los pasados. Eh, I like eh, the opinion you, you give all the time y me gusta escucharlo ahora, you know, because I was like, hey, ya tiene más fluidez, you know. So you get more fluency en in, in el vocabulario, pues poco a poco lo vamos armando, pero me, me agradó mucho escuchar la fluidez que tiene. Se, se escucha que las palabras ya no las piensa mucho, sino que ya empiezan a salir de forma más natural. So I'm very happy about it. Um, sí. ¿Hay algún tema que ahorita le esté costando? ¿Alguna habilidad? ¿Cómo siente su listening? Fíjese que el, el listening eh, a veces trato de practicarlo en la mañana okay. y a veces siento que poquito a poquito va, claro. va, va mejorando. Okay. Ahorita lo único que me estaba, o sea, me está dando, o sea, estaba confundiendo es de lo que estábamos viendo de los, de los, cuando se trata de how many y how much. Okay. 
en el, en el, en el sentido de eh, how, how, how much, creo que es cuando no se pueden contar eh, o no se pueden hacer eh, plurales, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto, correcto. Si gusta, le comparto aquí mi pizarra y, y vemos eso. Um, sí, solamente es como de recordar algunas expresiones, uy, ¿dónde está? Algunas expresiones que son de las más como, de las más comunes para guiarnos con el how much, el how many. Eh, con el how much siempre van a ser todos los líquidos, you know, eh, cualquier tipo de líquido y todas las palabras que son singular, que no se pueden pluralizar. Hay algunas veces métodos de pluralizar, pero en general, liquids. En singular word, siempre van a ir con how much. Eh, Díganme un okay. par de líquidos. Give me a couple of liquids. Eh, water. Eh, <laughs> Hugo, John, John, creo que sé. Juice. Juice. Uh -huh. okay. eh, eh, ¿Qué otro? Air, el air, no se puede. No es líquido, pero no se puede. Yeah, Medir. exactly, exactly. So, cuando utilizo esos, entonces comienzo con how much. How much water okay. do you drink a day? A lot of water. Okay, so how much coffee do you have? Maybe uh, one or three coffee all in a, a day. Like the cups okay. of coffee. Okay. Yeah. How much sugar do you put on your coffee? I try to use a little, uh, a little sugar. Yes, a very good, very good. Uh huh. Okay, so you put just a little. Yes, very because fair. it's. I I be afraid to ¿cómo se llama esta? To get diabetes, diabetes. Exactly. To get diabetes. Okay. What about salt? How much salt do you do you get in your food? Like a little salt, a lot of salt. Uh, in my case, I a little salt because, uh, for example, my mother, yes, I use use the use the, the salt, but in my okay. cake, when I, when I cook, mm -hmm. I try to use uh, a, a little. little. Uh, okay, okay, very good. Now let's go with how many. So how many is more like numbers, you know, todo lo que se pueda pluralizar, it comes in how many. So plural words, uh, por lo general, todas son plurales, incluyendo los containers. Algunas veces, como los singulares no se pueden pluralizar, water, no puede ser waters, Coffee, no puede ser coffees, pero yo sí puedo utilizar containers. ¿Cuáles son los containers? Por ejemplo, yo puedo utilizar a cup, como cuando se me dice one or two cups, ya, yeah. a bottle, una botella de algo, like a bottle, uh, me falta una te. Eh, uy, ¿qué pasó? Uh, for example, a bottle, a bottle of, so una botella de algo, right? Puedo utilizar, let me see what else, a uh, spoon. La palabra sugar, por ejemplo, no la, no la puedo pluralizar, pero sí spoon, que son las cucharaditas. Like a spoon of sugar to a spoon of sugar. Entonces, siempre que hablamos de los containers, sí puede entrar la parte de how many. So, por ejemplo, how many cups. No, let me ask something else. Okay, how many, um, oh my God. How many bottles of beer do you drink? <laughs> beer. <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> I, can, I can answer. No, I it's okay. Answer. It's okay. You can say one or two. That's okay. Or nothing. Okay. No one. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, how many? How many cups of tea? How many cups of tea do you drink every day? Um, Cups, eh, como. A cup, a cup, una, una tacita, oh. a cup. How many cups of tea? Tea, eh, something, one eh, at night, something. But, eh, eh, no, eh, eh, de vez en cuando, something. Oh, from time to, ok, uh, podemos usar esa expresión, porque something puede ser un poco confuso. From time to time. Eso es como de vez en cuando. From time, From time, to, time. to time. Así como el tiempo, right? From time to time. Okay. Good. Now, su turno. Hágame preguntas. Ask me some questions. How much did you pay for Hell, hell Wheels? Creo que se llama. Eh, ¿For? Eh, 
hell el audífonos. Oh, for the earphones, for the headset. Earphones, yes. For the headset. This is a gamer. <laughs> yeah. This is a gamer earphone, but it's like twenty dollars. Ah, that's okay. Yes. Um, how uh, how many uh, how many pupusas do you eat? Not too many. I eat like two or maximum three, but that's it. Not too many. So, mm -hmm. That's um, the max. How how many pair of shoes do you have? You, okay, I have to be honest. Because of the quarantine, because I didn't use shoes, solo las chanclas, <laughs> ah. I gave all my shoes to my sister. Solo regalé. I gave all of them. I have only three pairs of shoes, and that's it. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, how much do you, how much, uh, bottle of water do you drink uh, a, a day? I drink maybe two liters. Uh, yeah, like two or three liters of water every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a little, I think. But I do exercise. Maybe that's why I drink like two or three. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly, Rene. Very good job with that. Look, ahorita que terminemos, le voy a enviar un par de ejercicios personales, you know, para que usted yeah. complete con how much and how many. Y si todavía tiene como alguna eh, duda por ahí, algún ejercicio no está claro por qué, eh, me escribe. You let me know. No me los tiene que entregar ni nada, pero cuando tenga tiempo libre, un par de minutitos, cinco minutos, se los voy a enviar a WhatsApp. Y así usted okay. los completa. So you can okay. complete them. Good, good, good. Uh, le agradezco enormemente por conectarse, René. I'm super happy que esté mejorando así a pasos agigantados. I'm pretty happy to listen to you. And, y pues nada, espero que lleguen junto con, con Marvin. Presioneme a Marvin. Sí. <ríe> Pres Marvin. <ríe> que, no se me, que no se le vaya quedando tampoco. So, nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you sí. tomorrow. Que llegue con bien a su casa. So bye, yeah. Renee. Okay. See you Thank tomorrow. Thank you so teacher. much. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.